Welcome to Family Gamer TV. We are, I'm here at the Indiecade booth and we're looking at a game called Below with developer Cathy. So do you want to introduce us? People who haven't, haven't seen the game, um, haven't heard of the game, what's the setup? So Below is a game about exploration, uh, it's a game about survival, and it's a game about discovery. Uh, you play as the tiny little wanderer arriving in an island um, with no tutorials or text or uh, you know explanation of even what you're doing there. Um, and you as the player have to explore every element of it. You have to explore the controls, but you also have to explore the world and kind of figure out what your goals are. While you're exploring, you definitely have to survive. You have a sword and a shield. Um, and you can, uh, you know, you're gonna have to fight your way through some stuff. Um, and then, if you manage to explore and survive long enough, you'll end up discovering some of the stories, some of the lore. Um, the game is very inspired by roguelikes, so all of the dungeons are procedurally generated. It's super hardcore and very brutal, uh, but fair in the combat. Um, and it's also uh, a game kind of about secrets and mystery, uh, and exploring that and trying to find it out for yourself. And so the, it seems to have a very sort of specific art style to the game, and your character seems absolutely tiny. Yeah. Does, does that tie into some of the themes that the game's playing with? Yeah, absolutely. You are weak and, and meager and small and insignificant, um, but you're also nimble and, and can move well. Um, and it's also about kind of you know, giving, making the aesthetic vision of the game match the gameplay vision of the game. Uh, so we want to, we care just as much about art and style as we do about, uh, you know, input and, and controls. It all has to come together for us, and that's, for our studio, that's the most important piece. So a lot of things you're touching on here. Isn't the normal conversation I have with developers? You're talking about meaning and what the game's about. Yes. And it feels like it's, like it's a piece of sort of culture rather than just a bit of sort of electronic entertainment. Could you talk a bit more about that? That sounds fascinating. Yeah, I, I, I really genuinely believe that uh, the stuff worth making is the stuff that has that intersection of art and interaction, of sound and, and uh, like asking the player to do something, of uh, you know, creating a tone and atmosphere and not just relying on uh, not not just relying on button presses and calling that a video game. I think that I think for me, uh, uh, game culture is just as much about aesthetics and about music and about uh, narrative and about kind of uh, you know about about those pieces as it, is, as it is about interaction, as it is about uh, you know running on and jumping on the heads of turtles and and all of those other fun things. So for us, it's I mean we really do have a very clear goal, and that goal is about you know, making our own kind of take on a roguelike, on an adventure game, on a on a game where you have a sword and a shield and are fighting against monsters, but are also uh, we're also trying to create something that looks different, that feels different, and that sounds different. And so does that mean the game, almost as a piece of art, it has a lot of your own personal story in it and yeah. an emotional quality? I, I definitely think that this game is, uh, so for our creative director, Chris, who came up with the concept and who was directing the game, it's definitely him putting together things that he loves and things that uh, drive him as a designer um, into a game and taking the learnings that uh, that we've had with Sword and Sorcery um, and trying to take them in a different direction and in a new direction. And so Sword and Sorcery was that, that iPad game. It had a look similar aesthetic but quite a different mechanic. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, That's another game that we made that, that we put art and, and audio at the forefront. And so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely taking some of the things that we've learned from that game uh, and, and taking them in a very different direction, but the core concepts, the kind of, uh, like, the, the general ideas are, are us, are being expanded on from Sorcery. And so just finishing off, um, it's coming to Xbox One, Xbox 360, what's the platforms? It's coming to uh, PC via Steam okay. and Xbox One. And is there a reason that it's is it exclusive on Xbox One? And is there is no, there? No, it's not. It's not exclusive on Xbox One. Uh -huh. It's uh, the that's the console that we have announced so far. That's the console that it's coming to. Uh, but it's also coming at the same time to PC. Uh -huh. And maybe you could just say for a couple of minutes just what we're seeing in the game and you know what you're actually doing to play it. So right now I'm actually uh, I've actually taken a bit of damage um, and I'm bleeding. You can see my heart kind of slowly shrinking, uh, and so I'm pretty sure that if I don't find a way to deal with my bleeding, I'm going to die within the next 30 seconds or so. And if so you I die, you'll be back to the beginning, like a world like. Yes, definitely. So I gotta find myself a potion or a fire pit. I gotta get lucky. They've gotta like randomly generate something for me here that might help me out. 
uh, or I can just get killed by a trap. Um, and the way, because we don't tell you what traps are, the way that you learn what they are is just by tripping them. Um, and that's, that's the kind of experience. You're going to die a lot and learn and then not make the same mistakes. We have a lot of families watching. Do you think this is a game that would be suited to a family audience? I, honestly, I think it's a very a, a game that anybody who likes to kind of dive deep into something. We've had kids play it. Um, it's it's not super gory. There is some blood, uh, but it's it's you know it's actually really simple. It's I swing my sword, I hold up my shield, I move around. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for your time. Really appreciate squeezing us in. Awesome. And Thank all the best. you so much. Cheers. Thank you.